What's up Legions, Glazebam here and we are back in Crusader Kings 2. In the last episode we took this county down here and in this episode we're going to try and fabricate a claim on a, another region down here. Also if you guys want me to do anything in this let's play, any places you want me to particularly take or do anything, then please do let me know, uh, just leave a comment in the, just in the comment section or send me an email or whatever. Um, so what we're going to do is first we're going to check our vassals to see how much opinion they got of us. Okay, I think that's all high enough pretty much. So what we're going to do is going to fabricate a claim, but first let's see who we want to fabricate a claim on. So let's just see. Let's see this guy's troops here, seventeen hundred. This guy has an ally. Who's his ally? Where's he at? Okay, so he might be able to actually lend a hand, so we don't want to declare war on him. Where's this guy at? He's probably not going to be able to do much. So let's see how much troops he's got. Okay, so 2100. That's because he owns this place too, so that guy's probably a bit out of our league. I believe we already checked this guy. 1482, this guy might be a good one to try and take. 1900. I'm liking the looks of that um, Sildara. 1257, he's pretty weak. 1577. 1726 and 1701. How many men do we have? We have 2400 and this guy has 1200. So I'm not going to look at this um, Ergilla. I'm horrible at the names of this game. So let's fabricate a claim on that place there. And maybe let's get to train some troops so we can have an army by the time we get that claim. If we get the claim, because we only have a 16.61% every year to get the claim. Now what else we could try doing is maybe we don't really have any land to give out, so well, I'll wait until we fabricate that claim. See if we can't get some more things going on uh, see if we can't upgrade some of these buildings does not look like it oops wrong button see if anyone's got a faction against us they do not which is a good thing Catholic Church's men are not always easy to deal with. I need to make sure I have their approval and have both my wife, Roca, and my court chaplain, Agil Lennon, giving me advice on how Brexit I should offer to rebuild the church. Um, gee, my wife is very political. Scare them into submission. Let's go with that one, eh? Let's increase our speed here. I didn't realize we we're playing on speed one. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Roka, is pregnant. So that's a good thing. Uh, there are two peasant families in blah 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 who have been locked in a bitter feud for generations. This conflict has now escalated to the point where it is even discussed in circles of nobility. Although this feud would normally be far beneath your notice, this could be a golden opportunity to practice your diplomacy. I will put an end to this squabble.
Well, to do my best. And I am sick again. So, oh guys, very. Uh, oh, and it's over already. That was a very short fever. Auto saving him. So we have 2,700 troops. Pope has been succeeded. We now have another son, so... God, these are coming in like nothing else. Nephew wants a wife. We'll just get him anyone. So now we have a daughter and a son. Trying to see if any of them need guardians. He obviously doesn't, he's only zero. So this new pope doesn't really like us. Is our pope still there trying to? Yep, so he's still. We'll hopefully bring our relation up with him. Oop, wrong place. I'm hoping the players have a claim in on it or something. Oh, we've got some kind of war going on over here. I just saw a... thought I saw something. Man, how many popes are dying? Must be getting assassinated or something. Will a buzzard do? Now our daughter needs an educator. So we will get relation for this one, so this is what I mean by using your children to educate, uh, to get relations up. So we're going to choose him. Now he should like us. Well, these are right to you with shocking news. Githa of Godwin tried to have me assassinated to make sure I wouldn't discover her plot to kill Prince Godwin of England. Your humble spymaster. Expose her immediately. I was going to say, did he reject our offer or something? We'll choose him again so we can get even more relation. Each vassal can only have, or well, each person can only have two, two wards that they can educate. So you can see right there. So that should have increased our military quite a lot. No, not too much, actually. Hopefully we can get a claim on this place soon and go to war over there. Person holds claim. His liege is. Okay, so his son has a.
claim and is willing to come over to our court and he it's his father I guess well, actually no he's a, he's somewhere else I don't know where he is. And then I was going to say we can invite him over and try and take the land for him and then offer him vassalage or something, but seems too much of a hassle. Probably involve war with someone somewhere else. Unfortunately, this is a boring part of the game that, you know, when you haven't got any claims, what can you do? There's nothing really to do. My wife is pregnant again. Okay, so we have improved relations with the Pope. Ah, yes. Molly's going to work with blah blah blah. What we can do is we can see how many troops he's got. So he's got 1300 now. So Dara has 1500. No allies. Okay, let's just use it. That's going to cost us 22 gold and 100 prestige. We can afford both of them. So let's uh, use it. And now we have a diplomatic claim. A direct claim, I mean, not a diplomatic claim, on the county of that place. So now what we can do is we can get our, let's see here, well we can leave that guy there fabricating claims and maybe we can get some more claims on other places. Um, so what we can do is we can see how many troops we've got first of all, but 2700 how many of them are our own? 1500 of our own and he has 1300 of his own so we're going to unfortunately need our vassals here because we don't have enough to take them on ourselves what we can do is uh, declare war claim it for ourselves And then let a little bit of time pass so we can uh, initiate the war. Now we can merge the armies. better. So um, we have 2700 here. Let's just save real quick. Probably won't reload the saves but I just want to do it. I always like to save before going to war. We lost 209 men. We have now got a daughter. Someone's died, must be important enough to. Oh, that was our son's wife, okay. Oops. Let's see who we want here. And we do want someone with good attributes since he is our heir. She's only eight.
So we're going to go for her, I think. So now we have taken out the enemy army and all that's left to do is siege the castle. Which hopefully shouldn't take too long. And then we'll have another state of our own. It's taking a long time to go down there, isn't it? It's an ugly looking fly, brother. So soon we're about to have our second uh, county. Okay, so he's telling us that we have raised more troops. So why is Why is she doing this? Who is this? A uh, half brother. Should I have her killed? She's trying to assassinate my guy here. And there doesn't seem to be anything I can do about it. Seems he has died of old age. Or assassination. I'm hoping it's old age. And the last one is 13. So what we can do here is we can go to... Oh, we don't really have the money to do it. How much would it cost? No, four gold. We'll do that three times, see if we can't get someone a little bit better. And we didn't. So, looks like this guy is now the Chancellor and he's fabricating a claim on Tildara. Okay, so we, we lost zero casualties and they lost 806, I think. So now we can offer peace, force demands, send. Okay. So we have usurped a title. And this is saying a title will be lost. How do you tell that? How do you tell who the heir is of a specific So the heir is Don Chad McMurchard. So I believe that's what it's saying right there. Then my son is second in line. But still will be, be belonging to my family, so. But it doesn't really matter because I want to change the laws. Now I can't do that until we have. Oh, I can do it now actually. So we've been a ruler for 10 years. Uh, so the oldest child of the ruler inherits all titles. So that's what I want so then we don't lose our land. Because otherwise our land will be split up between our sons. And then I've had that happen to me before. And you lose half of the places you just took. So People will hate me because of that. Um, yeah, as you can see, people will hate me. But, oh well, I'm... People will probably raise a faction against me or whatever, but... Alright, that's been this episode, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.